Okay, um, I pressed the record button, so now it's being properly recorded. The first game of the season, or whatever, for Child Racers, uh, our Chaos Dwarf team. Uh, getting some... This is, I would say this is a pretty good matchup for us right now. Uh, because cha uh, Chaos do not have any skills starting out, other than horns, whereas we have a lot of block. They have a Minotaur, though, so... That's slightly annoying. Minotaur and 3 Chaos Warriors, that's, uh... Uh... That's an interesting setup. Yeah, uh... Just a quick, uh... We're, we're talking about Mordheim in chat, which is totally not fun for YouTube. Uh, but I would, I would say that if, if someone is under NDA and can't say anything, which is totally fair, but perhaps plans to make an LP out of it, uh, once it comes out, then that's, uh, then it's either fun to play or, in well, I mean, then it's probably fun to play or interesting, which is good enough for me. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, right, three. What do we want on the line? We want three chaos blockers. And actually, I think we're gonna put the other chaos blockers here because they're so freaking slow. And I'm putting the bull centers up ahead here. Actually, I could put them in the back. But I don't think he's going to run around on the side. Uh, and if he is, then that's kind of fine. Because he's only going to end up over here. So I have to learn how to play Chaos Dwarfs. So yeah, I, I haven't played Chaos Dwarfs in like uh, forever. I think last I played them was in Fumble at some point. So I'm I'm mostly like I I've played against a lot of Chaos Dwarfs. I just haven't played Chaos Dwarfs that much. Um, but it's gonna be interesting to see how they play. It's a ballsy move. Well, it's actually not that ballsy, but um, all of the Chaos Warriors on the line here, I. I don't know about that. He doesn't need it because these guys are all strength three. So, but it does. Uh, and I guess he doesn't need them anywhere else because these dudes have horns, so they can blitz just fine. Oh, it's nice weather, isn't that nice? Yeah, I I mentioned earlier that I was thinking of going for the. Uh, Minnow and two bull centaur build, but then looking at the actual uh, math of it all, it wasn't really. It probably wouldn't have worked out because bull centaurs and the minotaur cost a lot of money, and I am planning to keep one of the bull centaurs as my uh, ball carrier. And since they only have agility too, I need some rerolls to pick the ball up. Because it's basically the fastest way to level these guys up. Uh, the Hobgoblins have Agility 3, so they can just get to it if they want. But, uh, yeah, I, that's not what I want. I, I don't want the Hob Hobgoblins to get that many... Um, I mean, it's fine if they get some SPP and I can put Kick on them and some other stuff. Um, but um, they only have Armor Valley 7. And, like, I don't want to... This is going to be a bashy team, so I want some... I'll, I want the SPPs on the people that are going to hit me, or are going to hit, rather. Hmm. Okay, uh, I am gonna 
Yes, very nice. That's just what I wanted. Uh, so you are going to run forward. Now, Vinda the Purge here, as a bull centaur, has a sure feet, which lets me reroll GFIs, which is pretty amazing. Because we can do stuff like that. Uh, let's see if this is worth it. Yes, yes it was. <laughs> yeah, so the Chaos Doors should be pretty strong early on because they have so much block tackle. Uh, and they have some fast paces. Uh, their problem is, like the Kemri team, they're kind of... Unless I want to pick, hold it with a Hobgoblin, uh, they're kind of shit at uh, handling the ball. And a large part of their team is really slow. So that's an excellent start. And that's a really far back cage if I've ever seen one. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so it's really far, and I can't... Most of my blockers can't actually reach. So that's going to be interesting. Um, aww. Army of Darkwing Duck managed to... Stay on the pitch. That's really good. And I want I want to give that guy an assist somehow. And I think the best way to do it is to remove this piece. And let's see. Where do you want to go? Let's have you go over here. This is the hobgoblin that matters. Uh, there we go. And we'll put this piece over here. And now we can have a nice push around. I'm not going to follow up. And a nice push around over here. Ooh, well, isn't that nice? And here I'm going to follow up. Because I don't want that guy to get away. So I'm I'm pretty pleased with things are working out. We are basing some of them, uh, trying to make the most out of like this piece here. Can, if uh, an assist is removed here, then it's a oh here we go. So going for the, going for the quick running away here. That means he needs to he needs to base this bull centaur with at least two dudes. 
Oh, actually, he can't run away from this piece. This this indicates a handoff and then running down. So we'll see if that's what's going to happen. Yep. Now he can't outrun my hobgoblin, um, and like this guy can still reach him. Okay, so... We're going to have to do <laughs> make a really long blockchain here, but hopefully it'll work out. So we're going to... Oh, uh, right. Um, yep. Yeah. You get to go over here. Because if I can block this guy, push him into here, then I've freed up both of these hobgoblins. Um, which is hopefully enough. Uh, yes, I will follow up. Ah, oh, excellent result. So we, we are going to block over here as well. Um, I just don't want to do that yet. I want to do this first because uh, I need a GFI here. Sabrina the Teenage Blair Witch Project, go! Um, Reroll. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll take it. So... Broken jaw, that should be Miss next game. Sabrina the Blair Witch uh, Project just just deciding that, you know what? I'm going to make this happen. I wasn't, I was, I could probably play, uh, freed up the bull center, but to do that, I'd have to do a one die uh, block. And uh, while the Chaos Dwarves are really good at that, I... I thought, because this guy isn't better at blitzing than the Hobgoblin. He doesn't have any extra skills to do that. So I'd rather go the safer route with two die blocks, two die blocks, and then one GFI. That's good. That's, uh, so the good news is that this Beastman Blitz, but had to use a reroll to pick it up. So that might mean that my opponent does not want to block, but did. Okay. And he definitely should have followed up. Okay, let's see here. This hobgoblin can still make it down here. So, we are going to try some of that. Well, that's nice.
There we go. Hobgoblin running back. Uh, and I want the blitz here because if if this goes well, I can then try and pick it up. Well, I'm killing my hobgoblins. So, that's a thing that's happening. So, gouged eye, broken jaw. I think both of those should be missed next. Thank you, Van Ziggs. Yeah, like, honestly, I probably... The smart move is, of course, not to... Like, not to use my hobgoblins like that. I should just push. And then, if he scores, I can then... Ease, I can then... I should pretty reliably be able to score quickly as well. But, yeah. I guess I'm on a, some kind of killing spree here. Because I'm like... Ruin everything. We'll see. Like, I'm... I am still up players, so that's good, but I I should be slightly more careful. Because now I don't think I can stop him, no. Well, let's see if he tries to pick He should pick it up. Oh, and he failed, again. So, out of rerolls. Wow, that's not good. Now we're even. Okay. Can I... One, two, three, four, five, but... I could do that. Is it worth it, though? Possibly. Um, let's do some other risky stuff first. Okay, so here comes my sick play. That's probably not going to work. Okay, fine. Let's let's keep doing that. Let's see if he stalls or scores. Okay, stalling. That's, uh... Well, we can, we can get over there next turn and then just look at him. Which we probably have to. This guy might dodge out. No, he wouldn't. Let's see where he goes. Oops. Ah, oh, yes. Very nice, um, comparatively. Let's see here. Uh, 
That's a long way to go. Um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out, like, the best way to do this. Because I, I can get this guy over here, which seems good. Uh, but I don't want to dodge. So then the question is, how? what's my best option? And it's going to be a chain push. The question is just what... Oh, that's... The, no, well, I can't do that chain push. This would have been the best chain push. Um, can I do it some other way? Well, I could just try and clear them out. That might actually be the safest bet. Yeah, so that was basically um, two uh, one dice. I I should have moved this guy first. That would have been the smart move. Now he's going to score in turn eight. Um, but the dodge out would have been a four plus uh, with the blocks, which were both one die blocks. They were two plus. Well. Well. Okay, now I might actually be able to do that. Oh, snap. Now I am able to do this. Possibly. Okay. I guess not. So I was one away from blitzing here. So all I needed was a push. And then I could possibly have dealt with the... Well, that was like... Was that... I think that was five skulls in a row. One from me, two from him, two from me. So we're down to nine dudes, and he is down to eight, but he'll have another shot at it. These guys really far. Well, as long as uh, drag me to Hello Kitty's back, I think we're fine. Uh, I am not going to attempt the chain push because it's probably not going to happen. Okay, so that's a good start. It's a good follow up. We are going to try this pass first. Holy shit, it worked. So that's really good. Um, I'd stomp that guy. Well, 
Well. <laughs> I snake guy the injury roll. So now we are, well, we might be down a player depending on if his guys come back. Nope. So we're even on players. Eight versus eight. This should be... Well, more importantly, it's only my Hobgoblins that are out. And his Beastmen are way better. Well, way is is perhaps too strong a word. But his pieces have better quality than the ones in the entry box. And then Drag... Drag me to Hello Kitty managed to catch the ball. Thursday, what are you... Oh, this cat. Okay, so we are we are gonna try and maim these guys and score with uh, we want to score with Vinny the Purge. Uh, because we got. Uh, we got some SVPs on uh, My Little Predator. So My Little Predator is going to level up if uh, she gets an MVP. Wow, this... Okay. Hmm... No, that's... Let's see here. So this is a... Yeah, let's... Let's go with this. We'll see what happens. Okay, uh, ooh, an extra reroll, that's really good. Ah, oh, that's... That's horrible, actually, that's really bad. Because if I failed to pick it up, it might scatter out. Uh... Hmm... I think I'm gonna have to do this, yeah, because I need to free up this uh, blocker here. Okay, uh, let's try and pick it up. Holy shit! We did manage to pick it up. That is excellent. Uh, that's going to be the end of the turn. Very nice, Vinny the Purge. You did it. Let's see how are if we we kind of want to we want to KO someone else from the Chaos Dwarf team if we can. Um, then I'm gonna run in and score like a pro professional. It's true, these guys are pretty elfy, all things considered. I'm just going to give them extra arms, all of them. Wow. 
Oh, that's no fun. I need this not. Okay, I'm I'm trying to get. I need to get in a slightly better position here because uh, he's elf screening a lot. So we'll see what happens. It, it did force me into the chaos warriors, and I kind of want to get around them if I can. But we'll see. Um. I'm not sure why this guy moved over here. Oh uh, well. Okay, now he's got a one die block here. Which is slightly uh, sloppy of me, I guess. Oh. Deciding against it for some reason. Was that a misclick? Because even though he can dodge out here, it's still going to be... Like, I am not sure why this is happening. thoroughly confused about this. Well, that is not good enough. Did I... Okay, so that went well. Uh, we got rid of a Chaos Warrior, so now we can run and score and hopefully still be even on players. Did cost us a reroll though, which of course is not good, but we also freed up the bull center kind of. Okay, so let's see. These guys are free. But he can't get through here because of this bull centaur. Um, and I don't think... Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that guy can't get around. Well, this one isn't given an assist anyways. So 
that doesn't really matter much. Um, I guess you can blitz here and then hope to go stand over here. Nope. Okay. No. Playing defensively. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, hmm. Let's hear this, guys. Oh, hey! question is, where do I go? You can reach me pretty much anywhere. Um, hmm. Wow. This is tricky. Um, if I go over... Well, no, I don't want to... I need to stand somewhere. I could just run backwards, I guess. How far can you reach? So if I go stand over here, then you can't reach me. But you can, probably. Yeah, you can. So that was a bad idea. That was a good idea. Okay, so this guy can reach. Um, I probably shouldn't have run away. That's... Uh, I think that was a bad idea because my other hobgoblin's here. That's the only person I can... Well, this guy can reach. I'm going to have to kind of rely on my opponent rolling badly, which is never a good thing. Um, I mean, there's five out, so he should, he's only got six on the pitch, so that's, that's gonna stop him slightly, considering I'm up two now, um, okay, okay, so that's, that's good, actually, that's even better, because he's not, by not committing this, this guy, he's basically down to five, um, okay, and this guy's gonna can he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm sec. What? What? Why? Why did you do that? Okay, so now he. One, two, three, four. Actually, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, oh, s thank you. Okay, it sorted itself out.
There we go. Three sixes in a row. For the GFIs. So, that went better than expected. And I think it's... Well, it was mainly because my opponent did a blitz here. When he could have dodged out and actually blitzed the ball carrier. And the blitz also made him lose movement. And I honestly think he should have committed this piece. Um, because I, my ball center was so far behind, like back here. So this piece he, being here in the back, remember, like, we're both movement six. I have sprint, so I can go one step further. That's not a lot. Like, when you're this far back compared to this guy, like, it doesn't matter if he's here or here. He's still going to be able to catch up with me if he can dodge. This is probably going to end up being a tie, to be honest, uh, because I'm not going to be able to score until turn 15, um, and th at that point I might as well score on turn 16. Hmm. This is actually my best bet. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, sure feet's done. That means we're done. Um... And the reason I'm doing these two die, uh, one die blocks here first is because this one is actually riskier. And I have to figure out what's the best option here. This is the slightly riskier option, but with rerolls and the fact that if I do this properly, it means I have... Look at how fast I am. He's going to throw a block here, I think, and then possibly dodge out with one of the beastmen. It was a... This block here, the one die, was a... It was a 2 plus... Uh, roll because I actually have block and I have rerolls. It's turn 14. So, uh, and it was one of those value blocks where if, if, if I did that, then I had the chance to do a two die block here. And if I didn't do anything, he could have it was it was a two die block on the ball carry with the dodge. So I had to do something. Um, Okay, let the right one tin, rin tin tin, let's go. Uh, 
Uh, just making sure that, yep. The other option was to do the uh, less risky block here, right? Like a turn ago on the Chaos Warrior, which was a one die. Uh, but that had. Um, there were more horrible things that could have happened if I got an if I got a push because I would have pushed the Chaos Warrior forward, um, and for the same reason I couldn't push him the other way. Uh, okay, there's nothing I can do here but uh, go over here. Oh, that, yes, good, good shot, Cyanide. Whew. Oh, well, they did not want to come back. No one on the Skype call right now. There's no one. Uh, no one's up, basically, because it's a Sunday morning. So I'm all alone. Um, oh, what happened? Oh, quick snap. Well, we don't have to appease Nuffle just yet, so there's no, uh, we don't need WikiHow. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be peop people in later in the game. Later in the stream, rather. Oh, well, that was a, that was a good first game, all things considered. Uh, I, we got, well, we got 30k, so we can buy the Apothecary. The He-Man Centipede managed to get the MVP. Fat, fake toy worker managed to get it. Uh, so let's have a look. 50k, we, we are buying our apothecary. Boom. Uh, and then we're having two hobgoblins stand in uh, next turn. I mean next uh, game. Army of the Dark Queen Duck, I miss next game, and miss next game. So both of them are miss next game. Did we get any? Well, we got SVP on our bull centers, and that's mostly what matters. Drawing me to Hello Kitty. Also some SPP. So we're seeing some SPP. That's nice. I'm glad you liked it, Fat Alkin. I also had a good time. Um, bye, YouTube.